Alright, folks. It is six o'clock. This is your cover. We will uh, we'll get moving along. Let's uh, start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Keith, could you start us out, please? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody? Uh, Looking at the agenda. Any questions on the agenda from anybody? Being done, we'll move on. Approval of the minutes from August 10th meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the August 10th meeting minutes. And he makes a motion. I get a second. And are we doing the August 23rd ones? Oh, yeah, sorry, on the 23rd ones as well. 23rd special ones. 23rd as well. I can second vote. Had a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? There are none. Pass. Public comment. People wish to address the board will be limited to two minutes each. Public comment limited to a total of 30 minutes. Anybody wishing to address the board tonight? Mm -hmm. uh, monthly reports. Chief, fire. Evening, board and residents. Mm -hmm. We're currently staffed with 44 members. Um, anybody interested in joining the fire department? We're always looking for good members. We uh, call information. We had 35 calls this last month. Uh, we had 26 EMS calls and nine fire calls. Consisted of six in Grand Rapids, two in Saratoga, one in Grant, and we actually went a month with no mutual aids. So. That ended up being uh, one false alarm, three motor vehicle accidents, one gas leak smell, and four carbon monoxide calls, which is weird in the month of August. Hmm. So, uh, training. Uh, the EMS group is in their EMR refresher on the fire um, side. Uh, we did some drills. We used uh, the Lions Club grounds, and we did a bunch of drills on drafting, siphoning, and shuttling water. <clears throat> Uh, our meeting information, we had one department meeting, one department officer meeting, three training meetings. Uh, public relations, I have nothing for August. Uh, we did two homes for smoke detectors, four more address signs. And from the safety department, there was uh, one injury to report. So the only thing I'll note is if you guys noticed, I, uh, I used to go like whatever the dates were, like from the 8th of the month to the 8th of the month. And uh, it'll give me a lot more time and I can get my uh, reports into the clerk sooner. So I'm doing them like Mel does them now where okay. you'll get them for the month of, so this was from August 1st to August 31st. So next month you'll get September 1st to September 30th. Excellent. So that way I can have more time to get them in and then she's not want, wanting to scream at me because I haven't got it to her yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm definitely clerk by the way. Any questions for the board? Yes, Bill. Um, and was that one entry? Was it a workman's comp? Um, it didn't. Uh, we reported it to the insurance company, but there was no the the individual never went to the doctor. They just reported it was like a a sprain. Okay, thank you. Is the carbon monoxide were those like um, faulty alarm systems battery? Three of the four was the one. Uh, the one could have been really bad. Uh, the one was. Uh, we got, in fact, it was a new record. We had 147 parts per million. The water heater failed in the basement, and I don't know if the exhaust was plugged on it or if the heat exchanger went out on it. But uh, um, they were upstairs. Their laundry and stuff was in the basement. It was a, it was a duplex, and so yeah, you can. You're right. 95% of the time, there's nothing to them, but that could have been that could have been bad. Yeah, we walked in before the engine even got there. Mark Roosh walked in with his portable, those little disposable ones we bought, mm -hmm. and he got two steps in the door and it went up to 15. He turned around and got out. Mm -hmm. Guys showed up, I made them pack up. They went in and that new detector we got, um, we can actually use an app on our phone and get Bluetooth what they're reading. By the time they got to the stairway there at 78 parts per million, and by the time they got in the basement, Got back by the water heater, it was 147 parts per million. So, 
most people think about furnaces are the only thing that caused that. Where this is yeah. a, a water heaters, good gas dryers, gas yes. stoves, yeah. Great. But um, yeah, water heaters are. That's one of the first things we do on a carbon monoxide calls. Tur turn the hot water on to get the water heater to kick in. So. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. How about the uh, about the Lucas device? How's that working? I haven't heard anything much from it. Um, it's been used, uh, it was used three times in August. So I can't report what we got to say with it, but um, yeah, it continues to get, it, it didn't get used for probably six, seven weeks, and then it got used three times. Was it, well, two weeks ago, we used it three times in four days. So it's, uh, it's going out. It went on a call last night, but we didn't need it. So it's, it's been used many times. So, anything else? Okay. <coughs> okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Let's see here. Okay, Grand Rapids Police Department. For the month of August, uh, the Grand Rapids Police Department handled 421 calls for service that compared to 441 calls for service in August of last year, uh, about a 4.5 percent decrease in calls and uh, board members uh, should have a breakdown uh, of those calls. The Police Department issued 99 traffic citations, 9 municipal ordinance cit citations, two DNR citations and 66 written warnings during the month of August. On August 2nd, the Grand Rapids Police Department and the Grand Rapids Fire Department participated in the National Night Out campaign at the Crossview Church parking lot in Wisconsin Rapids. Uh, that National Night Out is an annual community building campaign that promotes police and community partnerships and neighborhood uh, camaraderie. The event was well attended by most police and EMS services in the area and the local community. And again, uh, National Night Out is just that. It's a national event and uh, departments from all over the country are, are doing that uh, on that uh, on the August 2nd when that occurred. On August 6, 2022, the Grand Rapids Police Department and the Grand Rapids Auxiliary Police assisted with the uh, Central Wisconsin car crews. Our primary duties included traffic control uh, during that event. And uh, once again, uh, uh, we had uh, the, the car crews going through a good portion of the town. On August 19th, Officer Kabishka of the Grand Rapids Police Department participated in the Wisconsin Rapids Dunkin' Donuts Cops on a Rooftop fundraiser for the Wisconsin Special Olympics 2022. Uh, this was the 10th anniversary for this event, and over the last uh, nine years, over $350,000 have been re uh, raised for uh, the Wisconsin Special Olympic athletes. Vehicles in the department remain in good operating condition, and once again, please, please feel free to stop by any time if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you. Any questions? Just the DNR citations, is that related to ATV usage, and if so? The no. DNR? Yeah. Yeah, those yeah. were ATV, uh, UTV violations. You guys, what do you see them typically as problems, or what are the concern, are they concerns? A uh, couple hot rotting in different neighborhoods for no apparent reason other than to raise hate and discontent in the neighborhoods. Uh, uh, the a couple where they've been on roads that they shouldn't have been on, uh, and but I think that legitimately was a knowledge of what roads are available and what aren't. So, uh, 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 but overall, I think it's been uh, so far. Knock on wood or whatever. Uh, it's uh, it's been. Uh, uh, it, it's been going fairly well, and uh, a, a lot of the contacts we have had, usually it's just an education thing, 
And again, the uh, Saratoga ATV UTV club, I think, has been doing a good job. If we have any issues, uh, we make sure we contact them so that they can uh, get the word out for their members to, that, uh, to be on the lookout for that. So overall, I think it's been pretty good. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Treasurer. All right away, I'm going to admit I see the heading on my thing so for the month of July and we're September, so that should say August. So for the month of August, <laughs> our receipts were $368,105.54. The total disbursements were $524,202.50. Um, uh, the outstanding checks, or the, our checking account is a balance of $105,291.47. Our repo account has $879,168.96. Our money market is at 327,963.92. The ARPA account is at $668,705.46. And our tax account is at 138.82 for a total of $1,981,268.63. Any I just want to say thank you also for um, the report to have the extended collected. Um, I found it. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, consideration of possible action on Class A liquor license for WHR GOTS NW WI NWI LLC DBA. The store located at 4010 80th Street. This is just a renewal? No, the store sold um, quite a few of their locations, uh, mm -hmm. the one on 73, and this one I know for sure to this company out of Georgia. So we're just renaming the company, essentially? It's Same. going to remain the store, but being owned by this company. Um, they're going to keep their um, agent as the same the same as what mm -hmm. the store did. The they were, they were liquor and beer before, too, right? Yeah. Everything else is the same. They're just. Do we have to do anything with the current employees? Mel did a background check on the people involved as much as he could, and he signed off on them. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. So does this separately need approval? Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, the, 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 age, the whole liquor license. The license, yes. Yeah. To sell fun. liquor. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve it. Okay. Second. Next motion. Any second? Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Remain none. Motion passed. Consideration of possible action on appointment of successor agent Bullseye Golf Club to James Thompson. That was on our desk when we got here. Mm -hmm. said. Yes. No. I hadn't had a chance to run backgrounds on, on either one of those, but he got it done. And Mr. Thompson passed. Oh, this one here. I'll make a motion to approve the successor agent, James Thompson, for full sight. Motion by the second. I'll second. Got a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Any opposed? Okay. None. James B. Thompson can be doing what he needs to do. All right. Uh, discussion of possible action on recycling solid waste and water committee deciding not to hold the choose to reuse event this year and suggestions for recycling events. So the uh, recycling solid waste met 
um, previously, um, I think it was on the 26th, um, and we decided or recommended to the town board that we do not hold the choose to reuse due to not, ha not having enough volunteers, not having enough donations to be able to uh, run it properly. Um, there wasn't anything budgeted um, in last year's budget to be able to utilize any funds um, through the town's budget. So um, I know the town board had approved us to have one um, choose to reuse this year. So I don't know if we need to have the town board to approve us not having one this year. Or um, what we're, we've planned to do is we'll meet again, but we'll come up with uh, recycling events, meaning that we'll have a um, like a, a day to recycle something. We haven't come up with the categories yet, but that's what we plan on doing. Yeah, I don't know, Nick, do we need to make a motion to reverse something like this that really there was no, there really wasn't no, anything committed other than kind of, well, I don't right. know if that date was committed, was it? I think yes, there we was, did, there was a yes, date. we did commit to the date. Okay. So that's why I thought we better have an approval from the town board to be able to say we're not going to have it. Bill. I receiving a lot of calls on a lot of people think it's this coming weekend. So I would make a motion that we get it on the internet that the town board did not approve of having one. And also WFHR uh, rep um, reached out and asked if they could publicize that we're not going to have one on the radio and I said it wasn't officially negated um, by the town board. So if we have the approval with that, we can um, maybe in the motion Push approve that we can have it uh, announced on WFHR Push also. to whoever publications need to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion to cancel the this year's Choose to Reuse? You, you do have a motion. You need a second. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yep. Second? I'll second. Andy. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Choose reuse is done, and then I guess in that motion we'll, we'll have to push that out to the uh, necessary, put it, on, put it on the website, put it on the Facebook. Okay. And then I'll take care of WFHR. Okay. Thank you. And you're welcome. <coughs> All right, uh, August disbursement vouchers, questions at all on those? I'll make a motion we approve the disbursement vouchers for August. Motion by Andy. Second. Second by Patty. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That passes. Uh, operator license applications. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll make a motion to approve the six presented for I operator's license that were approved. I can second. It's for the one year. It's okay. nothing for two years. Any discussion? So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, monthly reports. Public Works did not meet. Uh, Airport Commission, uh, we met. It was a pretty short uh, meeting. The fuel sales are down this year, um, obviously with the price of everything. Uh, people are still coming in but not buying as much fuel. We don't know if that's because they're buying it elsewhere or uh, just tightening the belt. So um, it's still doing uh, pretty good. Uh, the fuel system, the new fuel system that they put in, is finally up and running, uh, which is a which is a good thing. It's later than what it should have been, but the, that wasn't due to anything on our end. It was due to the the companies putting it in with some holdups. So, um, preparing for winter, fall, and winter season here. Um, otherwise, uh, it keeps plugging along. Uh, recycling 
solid waste and water. Uh, we met, but um, 24. Um, oh, it was the 24th. Thank you for correcting that. Um, I plan on ha um, scheduling another meeting soon, Lee. Okay. Oh, and I don't have any props, but I just want to. Um, Occasionally when I drive past people's homes, I notice that someone may have a huge purchase like a refrigerator and these boxes are huge and what they do is they just drag them out to the end and they leave them there and they expect um, the person to pick them up and put them in, you know. So I just wanted to um, talk about in our contract um, corrugated cardboard. It, it includes clean corrugated cardboard, does not include waxed cardboard or chipboard, such as cereal boxes, shoe boxes, or similar materials. But cardboard should be flattened and bundled in bundles not more than 12 inches high and 24 inches wide and not longer than 36 inches long. So these people that are putting out these great big huge um, boxes, they need to break them down and then um, bundle them appropriately. And last time I did talk about mixed paper and putting them in the um, in the grocery bag, in a paper grocery bag, um, when you are recycling mixed paper and newspaper. Um, one of the things that um, it says not to include carbon paper, which I don't know if we have too much of that nowadays. Carbonless paper. Well, it says do not include carbon paper, um, cellophane, or any waxed paper. And remember, we're not supposed to put any hand towels or other paper products from restrooms or soiled napkins or paper plates in the recycled newspapers. But we can include any type of all grades of paper, colored paper, ledger paper, um, coated carbonless paper, envelopes, including windowed, labeled, and craft magazines, phone books, which we don't see too much of that anymore, but glued pads, tablets, file folders, spiral notebooks without the metal spiral, cereal boxes, shoe boxes, newspapers, and newspaper inserts. So those are the things that we can recycle for newspapers. Thank you. Just, just, oh. just to let you know on that, Carmen, mm -hmm. why, why and, and on the cardboard. First of all, the cardboard. When it's that big, it goes in the dump. It goes in the dump. Yeah, that he just picks it up because it's too small to go into the other bin. Mm -hmm. So it just goes into the dump. And on carbonless paper, I, I worked at a paper mill. If you get carbonless paper to try to make other paper, it can spoil tons and tons of it. And then like somebody, my checkbook is a carbonless. Okay. So that, that, that that's that's the thing. I don't need any carbon paper, and I don't think you even use carbon paper no, anymore. I don't think we do. But 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 the carbonless when oh, you I see. write a check and it stays there and there's no carbon in there. That's bad for paper. Okay. Hey, thanks for adding to that. So that's all we have. Mm -hmm. All right. Planning commission. Um, we did not meet, so we're going to be meeting next month. Okay. Public buildings. I think they met. That's Amber. And she didn't have me say anything. Uh, legislative will be meeting later this month. Uh, public safety. Well, we've not met. I'm still waiting to hear back from the other townships. I'm going to reach out to them. I know both of them had said they were working on other stuff with the fire, fire department contracts, but they have them and. I have not heard back from either one of them, but I'm going to reach out and just check to see where the status of that is. Okay. Thank you. Uh, economic development, uh, the report from there is that uh, she received the map of the trail, the bike trail. Signs are being made by rapid signs uh, as we speak. Uh, the fence was completed along that trail that needed to be done, but being that it's fall, and the signs are not complete yet. It's looking like a spring opening it is kind of the plan for that, that trail. So that'll give uh, the public works guys some time to get the signs put up and all that. And then the snowmobiles obviously use it during the winter. So 
that was the update on that. Uh, personnel, uh, just real quick, uh, the new uh, the new hire the Tom made for the administrative assistant started yesterday. So, uh, be a lot to learn there, but uh, it's nice to have her on board and get her training and getting to help out. So, uh, WTA. Yes, um, there was a meeting on August 19th in Antalya Hiles. Uh, Jerry Miner, the fire chief uh, for Pittsville Fire Department, was our spokesman and he he spoke on partnerships with other with other uh, fire departments, and staffing remains uh, one of the biggest problems, I suppose, throughout <coughs> the volunteer firemen. Uh, Steve Dickerson from the Towns Association uh, talked about ARPA funding, and there was quite a conversation about that and it. And who we had for legislators was you know, Senator Patrick Teston. Nancy Vandermeer and Donna Rosa uh, attended the meeting and there was a lot of requests for next year, you know, if they get in to have uh, different bills passed. And uh, the next meeting, of course, is this Friday night at the town of Lincoln and the speaker will be Ken Heidemann uh, from the uh, uh, Mason, Bill and Gary Cheese. I've heard him speak at a number of them, and um, that's where it'll be. You know, also I'd like to talk about the, the fall workshops that are coming up. I can't make the one on the 19th, but I would like to do the Zoom one. And I don't know if anybody else is going. The fall workshops are scheduled for the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and then in our virtual program. That's what I'd like to have the clerk sign me up for. Is that September? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it for the report, and there's a copy of the minutes from this last meeting in your boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, reports from individual town board members. Bill. Any report? No, I don't. Patty? No, thank you. Andy? No, I don't have anything. And nothing from me. Which leads us to uh, public input. People wishing to address the board will be limited to two minutes each with public input limited to a total of 16 minutes. Anybody wishing to address the board? Um, Andrew, this is it. Thank you, the admin. Hi, can I ask you a question about the cereal boxes when you're talking about things? I thought, did, did you say there's wax kind and then there's, that's not a, not eligible to be recycled and then there are others that aren't wax that are, are eligible to be recycled? Um, I will give you the um, information um, that I read this evening. Okay, I would appreciate that. I, I, I know I always look in the newsletters when the town sends the newsletters out for information about recycling on um, holidays, what's right, what's wrong. And I think that would be helpful to a lot of residents in town to get that kind of information in the newsletter. Um, and I'd like to remind everyone that my email still goes unanswered almost four months now. And um, I'd like to see the board address water issues in the town of Grand Rapids, not just Edward Acres, but other water issues in the near future. Thank you. Anybody else? Keith, Keith Luke, 6511 Batavia Avenue. I'm kind of interested as to why this town board has not addressed the Lampert and Lee report, and I'd like to ask that question, put it out there, so maybe we can get them in here and hear that. I mean, it was said that that was going to happen. It went to the commission, and that got changed, and it got, I don't know where it's at, so. You board members promised the citizens that we would be able to hear that report. That's been a year, so thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Moving on, future agenda items. Uh, Bill, Patty, Andy, anything? Nick? Yeah. All right. All right, on number 15, 
the board may move into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statute section 19.851C, considering employment, promotion, compensation, and performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercise responsibilities for the purpose of discussing terms of a separation agreement for an employee. Pursuant to section 19.85, town board will return to open session. So you'll need a motion to go into closed session. I'll make a motion to go into closed session. I'll second. I'll second. Roll call. Bill. Aye. Patty. Aye. Andy. Aye. Jeremy. Aye. All right. We are in closed session. Thank you, everybody.